I was raised in like a really supportive family. I was alone in the terms of like, in the sense that I was dealing with the cystic fibrosis, like having it in me on my own. But I always had like my mom or my dad or my brother or my friends around me to be like, no, we're here for you. Cystic fibrosis is a very interesting disease to have. Basically, it affects your entire body, but primarily your lungs and your pancreas. And then it also blocks off my digestive enzymes, so I have to take pills. So I take like 60 pills a day. So I have tons of um, thick mucus in my lungs, and I'm constantly coughing because I feel like I have to clear it out, even if I can't um, cough anything up. You know, for that I have to do a vest, which is a vest that goes over and shakes. And then I do three nebulizers in the morning and two at night. And those help open up my airways and loosen up the mucus so that I can cough it up. Should I turn it on? Uh, yeah. Like how I tell people is they're like, oh my gosh, how do you do this? Like you don't have a normal life. I'm so sorry. Like I don't know what a normal life is really. For me, it's just like, oh, this is my life. This is normal for me. I didn't really have a moment where I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not normal. Oh no. But there was a moment when I figured out that I could die young. Because with sclerosis, you can die young. The median age is 37. Years ago, most people didn't make it past the teens. Most people were dead around my age, which is just weird because I'm not anywhere near dead. I think what pushes me is knowing that other people think I can't. And I'm very defiant and headstrong, so of course I have to prove people wrong. I play piano. I've been playing since I was five because my mom played, and I loved listening to her play. I write with the intention to let out what I'm feeling. I love hearing when people are like, this song of yours got me through this really tough experience, or, you know, I have CF2 and I just love listening to your lyrics, and I know I'm not alone listening to your songs. And it, like, that's what I write for. And that's like the best feeling ever, because you know you're not alone. On stage, everything is sort of a blur, but when I sing, it's like I can feel all the emotions I had when I wrote the song resurfacing. And I think the people who are watching or listening can hear it in my voice. I'll stay though you're a stranger now. I'll pull through even when it's hard. Never want to leave when I'm needed. And you're rusted right into mine. They see through all the pain. Do you not listen when you hear what I say? have so much potential from day one and you can either do something with it or just throw it away and forget about it. And honestly, I think forgetting about it is possibly one of the worst choices you could ever make because you have so much to do with your life. I just have like this zest for life. And I'm very ambitious naturally, so I have a lot to accomplish in my head. Why, why wait with that when you can do it right now? Don't let anybody tell you you can't because you're a certain way. I can do anything despite the circumstances because I'm test done. I'm not my disease at all. I'm not my illnesses at all.